Hundreds of thousands of power outages in the Carolinas caused by Hurricane Dorian's brutal winds. The Category 2 storm now pounding the area but continuing to move at a snail's pace. Fox News correspondent Ray Bogan is in Charleston, South Carolina. Dorian's powerful winds battering the Carolinas, damaging homes and throwing many people into the dark. Evacuations remain in place with residents told to get out of town completely or go to one of the Red Cross shelters. Get to safety and stay there. Don't let your guard down. This won't be a brush by, whether it comes ashore or not. And Dorian could still make landfall. The hurricane has been consistently inconsistent, making it difficult for forecasters to predict where the storm will go. Even offshore, Dorian is spawning tornadoes in both Carolinas. Many people in this region lived through Hurricane Florence last year, and they know the power of Mother Nature. A cat two hurricane winds is going to knock trees over, um, and we got a lot of them, especially around here. Um, People have died from staying in their trailers and trees coming down. The other big concern is flooding. Sandbags lining the streets in commercial and residential areas to minimize any flooding. High tide is only increasing the risk of storm surges. There's also the currents, the strong waves battering this Jeep that was abandoned in Myrtle Beach. 